In this video, I'm going to be breaking down Euro USD. Right now, I'm running a sale on my Trading Academy and Community. If you want to join the Discord only and you don't think you need the course, this is the cheapest it's ever been. And when the sale is over, I'm going to remove the option for Discord only once again, and that will come back some point in the future. So if you want to join my Discord, the best time to do it is now. You'll save a lot. It's the cheapest it will ever be. If you use the code SS30, you'll get the discount. So there's a link to that in the description. You can sign up there, and I'll see you on the inside. If you want the full course, the discount is also applied there. So using the code SS30, you will get £150 off that and that is the course plus the discord so if you want to trade with me and you want to learn from me head over to the link in the description very nice sale running right now see you on the other side hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well i hope you've had a profitable week if you follow all of my videos you'll realize i didn't post anything last week i was holidaying a little bit chaotic but i'm back into the action now and we're going to be back with the weekly uploads so in today's video we are going to be looking at euro usd i'm going to be breaking down my view for this market i'm going to show you what it is that i'm looking for and how i plan to trade this based on what the market does so what you can see here on the screen is my euro usd four hour chart and this is actually marked up with a little bit of analysis now what we've seen over the coming weeks is a bearish market coming down to the psychological one level this level is obviously very high importance because the one level is actually a parity level where one euro and one dollar are equivalent in value okay so it's a pretty crazy level for the price to reach now a lot of people didn't see that happening but it did uh, and very rightly so with the us dollar rallying into the heavens at the moment so euro usd it came into the parity level Obviously, with one being a heavy psychological level, as soon as we hit that point, we rallied away with quite a lot of strength after wicking through into those sub numbers under the one level. This rally away it broke above some structure. It formed this liquidity range here. We then broke up through the range, opened this imbalance, started leading towards this supply zone. Then we sold off. We formed this equal low area at the bottom of this liquidity range. Then we had a larger sell off, pushing us back down into the boundaries of this demand here. Now, this is where my buy ideas come in, because what I'm looking for is a kind of rebound on EURUSD from this demand area in the bottom to bring us up towards this supply and then potentially all the way up towards this area up here if we manage to break through this high. Now, these buys will remain only valid while we stay above this low here. So if we mark on this low, anywhere under here, and we are probably going to be moving into more significant bearish territory for EURUSD. But with the DXY looking like it's probably at a point to flip now, I'll show you that real quick, we may be able to get a rebound on EURUSD, which would be very nice and would give us some nice buying opportunities before perhaps a larger sell-off or into a continuation of a larger upside move. So as you can see, I have these zones marked on. This is, I believe, a 15 or 5 minute refined demand zone, but basically it works off this larger 4 hour zone. Uh, as you can see, price has actually pushed through this now i haven't taken any action if you follow me on instagram i posted an idea yesterday we would be looking for breaks of structure over this point before we started looking for any form of buy now at this point we've broken through and i do think price can push down towards this area around 0 0.997 0 0.996 the reason i believe this i will show you in just a moment but i do think now that we've broken this low we are probably going to see a movement like this then we may push up and then we can look for that continuation up into this point and then we'll see are we going to flip here or are we going to continue up to the upside to fill in some of these higher price points? So let's actually take a look into this price action area and see what is this demand, what's this demand, and where do I expect this to flip from, if anywhere. Now we're looking at this price area on the 15 minute time frame. The uh, refined 15 or 30 minute demand that I was looking at was this area here, and that was actually at this point. So remember, I just upsized this from 15 minute to four hour. The four hour zone covers this whole range. The 15 minute demand I was looking for a rebound from was this point just here. Now, as we can see, this has now failed. And this is the zone that would push through on those higher time frames. We have this kind of equal low area, not direct. We do have these two direct ones. They were swept out. Hence why I was okay looking for confirmation entries from this point. But now that we've pushed below, I don't think we're going to hold up where we are now, which is around this point. I personally think we're probably going to push towards this 15 minute demand just here, being this gray indecision candle before the market took off. Now we can actually see this indecision candle has not yet been retested. We have a small imbalance there and then we pushed away, but this could still be traded into. So why am I not looking for buys directly from 0 0.998? Well, the reason for that is the refined area. So if we go down a little bit lower to the 10 minute and the five minute, you can see here that we actually have this candle at the bottom of a deeper imbalance. If we look at the five minute as well, you'll see that it also pairs up just there quite nicely. So then we've got these two kind of almost equal lows as well in the market above this imbalance so i'm believing if we do pull down we could trade into this point and then we could look for buys from there 
So if we kick this forward now that we understand what we're looking for, we can see price has broken the first zone. That's that four hour slash 15 minute refined zone. We'll remove that for now. Uh, we can see that the market is still clearly downtrending as well. We are not really trading into any meaningful areas of support here. I do think this low is going to break. So we could actually look for EURUSD shorts for today or early into the week to take us into this point around 0 0.997. From here, we could begin looking for buys. And I think, you know, buys do come in quite nicely here. Uh, we have potential really to go for a risk entry due to the fact it's the imbalanced extreme. So it's quite a safe point to buy from. Stop loss is not going to be the smallest, probably about 19 pips. I probably want to enter it about there. But our target could then actually be nearly 10 on, all right, just towards this first point. We could refine that a little bit further if we wanted to, and that would make it a 10 on position. Um, so this is a viable risk entry, okay? Now, obviously, we don't have to risk entry into this. We could look for confirmations. I do quite like confirmation entries from this point as well to be safer. But for those of you who do use buy limits, I do think that that would be a kind of a viable trade to go for. So the confirmation entry would look something like this. We could use low time frame confirmations because we are looking at low time frame charts, right? This is a five minute demand. If we were to follow the five minute trend into that point, we could then use five minute structure breaks to confirm it. So if we pulled down like this on the five minute, then we had a break of structure like this. That would actually be valid for us to get into a trade. And if we chose this option, we could get in with an even better entry because we can then pull our stops either just below the zone or just below the low of the movement. So if this does happen, we could have a very nice movement here on Euro USD prepping up on the buy side. So um, this one as well, obviously, if this does happen, we'll be very, very good position because what we can then do is continue. So if we get the initial buy on, let's say we pull down, we get a confirmation here, we get our first buy. If we then break up above this structure, we could look for a scaled entry. Uh, maybe, you know, taking some profits and then adding more position further down or just holding it out and adding positions. If we broke above this entry, we could further add more to the trade. And then we could look to run that into here. By this point, we'd be running multiple heavy profitable positions, get out of a few and uh, maybe leave one or two or a partial of your position, even if you just enter the one running to see if we can approach and achieve some of these further zones as well. So really, that is my plan for EURUSD. It's quite simple. I'm looking for the pull down. Um, let's have a look at the five minute real quick and see, are there any selling opportunities towards this point? So I can see at the moment we're kind of forming a range. Um, this is obviously the target just here. Now we could just follow directly with the structure here. So if I was looking for a move down, it would be from somewhere within this range. Now the five minute would suggest maybe this area could be good. Uh, we could look at this whole price point for a potential flip down. Now we've seen these two equal highs as well. This is probably going to get liquidated at some point. And the reason I like this area is because up until this point, everything is efficient, really. Right now, you could obviously look at this one, but the imbalance above would lead me to look at the zone above. Now, what do I mean by efficient? Uh, well, every time we've made a lower low, we've come back and retested supply. So uh, here we have supply push down, pull back, retest, push down, pull back, retest, push down back retest blah 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 then we have this imbalance point then we have this one which is very slightly imbalanced we push down we have supply pull down retest supply pull down retest and then this efficient price action here then we have a bit of inefficiency here but we've obviously cleared that and formed these equal highs already so what could i look for early in the week on euro usd well we could look for a push up into this point uh, this would not be a risk entry because it would be a little bit hectic if we did that but if we can get a pull into this point and then, you know, a break of structure down that shows some willingness to move back to the downside. We could then look for an addition to sell down on EURUSD to try and bring that thing from, you know, this higher point here with confirmation with the trend on our side to take that down into our buy target. So this could be a very healthy profit in itself uh, if we do get this trade opportunity. How hypothetical for now. We're not going to, you know, fire into this. No risk entries here. But if we do get this nice push away, tap in and then break down. I'll definitely look for a nice short from somewhere around this point. Now, if we were to actually breach this high, at this point, we kind of maybe could look for shorts, but we might then be showing a shift in direction because that would be the meaningful point here in structure. So what I would prefer to do if we did break over this is just kind of sit out for now, see if we pull back uh, and then kind of reassess this for potential buys, see if it's going to build some strength or if it's going to keep selling off towards this point. But I've got quite high conviction that we will come and hit this point eventually. So we'll just see if that's going to kick in. But for now, these are the ideas I'm looking for. It's going to be a short down from this kind of area here. And if we get that, we can look for the shift once we hit this point. And we might be able to get a very, very, very healthy buy towards this area here. So that's my plan for EURUSD. And that's how I'm going to trade this, given the price action forms how I want it to. Now, the one final thing to talk about is the potential of a breakdown. 
If we go to the monthly time frame and scale it back, we can see that we are at a key level, being that parity level. And where we are now is trading within this demand here. So what happens if we break the low? What happens if we, you know, push through the demand entirely and we don't form up the buys that we wanted to see? Well, at that point, we are probably going to move considerably lower. So scaling back to this old price action, bear in mind this is 2002. We haven't been this low since then. We can go to the weekly time frame and we can see right now we're trading within this kind of demand area. If we do break below, we'll be looking for a trade down into 0 0.98. And if we break through this low as well, we could then move considerably further towards around 0 0.95250. So if we bring price back to where we currently are, we will see if this demand fails on a four hour and we break under this low, we'll probably have a pretty clear run down towards that level there. And if we don't push up from there, we could move even lower towards this point here. So understanding that we are here to react and not to predict what the market is going to do, we won't worry about this now. We'll keep in mind these levels, uh, 0 0.98, 0 0.95250. But for now, we'll just focus on this buy side. And if we do start to break down and we do have to join the trend afterwards, we will. OK, but we don't need to start considering this too much yet. Just keep those targets in mind and then we'll trade with what we've got. And if it changes, then we will adapt when the time is right. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully you've got some value from this and you can go forward and trade this profitably into the week. Hopefully EURUSD gives us the rebound we want to see. But if not, we can probably profit on the way down too. So let's just see what happens. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.